Hey guys, it's Robin, R. Silent Crafts, and welcome to my studio. Before each live stream, I like to go ahead and clean my sewing machine. That's going to guarantee me that I'm going to have at least a clean sewing machine every two weeks or twice a month, I should say. I'm really pretty good at remembering. There was a while back when I first started sewing that I would forget, and then the bobbin area would just get so full that you'd have skip stitches and the machine just wasn't acting right and stuff. Then I re realized, okay, well, sewing machines need to be cleaned out periodically. You shouldn't just do them every once in a while or whatever. Some people say every project, and then it's like, that doesn't work for me, because what if you're working on a king size quilt? The way I sew, I'm probably going to need to do it a little more often. I don't know if it's not, not just the way I sew, but sewing all the fabrics and stuff, and depending on your thread. Now, I've found that with this machine, and I'm using the cotton thread from Connecting Threads, the Essentials brand, that they work out really well together, unless maybe it's a red thread. The red ones always seem to leave more lint and stuff in there. Just means I try to remember if I sew with a lot of red thread to go ahead and clean it out. And that's usually when I'm doing maybe postcards or something. When I'm sewing a quilt or things like that, I don't tend to use red thread very often. And if I'm sewing one or two bags, it doesn't take a lot of thread. But I did use a lot of red thread for the Christmas postcards and such. So it got pretty dirty in there. And as I said, I've cleaned this out just two weeks ago. I'm getting ready to go for the live stream. Today is the Thursday before, so I want to get my machine all nice and cleaned and ready to go. And I thought I'd just take you guys along for the ride. Maybe it could be a little reminder for a few of you that how long has it been since you cleaned out your sewing machine. I have a few tools here. One of you amazing people sent me these sewing machine cleaning brushes from Quilt in a Day. They just have this little bit on there that makes it nice and easy to grab some of the fuzzies that are floating around. My machine and most of them come with one of these brushes with a little pick on the end to help pick it out. I use this a little bit, mostly for like to feed dogs in certain areas. My favorite tool has always been the pipe cleaner or chenille stain. You can see that this one has gone around and around a bit, so I have a new one today. I like to fold them in half, and there's this bit I just kind of like push down in different areas, and it kind of bends a little bit. It doesn't tend to get stuck. It's longer than the brushes, longer than the little, what are they called, the cleaning brushes from Quilt in a Day, and it just allows me to get into certain areas. Plus, with the whole chenille bit here, there's already some fuzzy stuck on the end here. It just grabs all the lint and allows you to pull it out. Sometimes if it's deep down and I can see a big clump, I'll get out the hemostats and just pull it out. This is the part that comes off of my machine when I put the big table on and it has all of the little extra feet and the tools and stuff. So I have my little, this is my screwdriver gadget to take off the screws. I'm going to go ahead and zoom you in really close so you can see what's happening in there and check out any of the fuzzies I might have. It shouldn't be too bad today. Now every machine is different. I've already loosened up these screws a little bit. I don't put them in super tight. I don't want to torque down on anything and cause any types of issues. I just finger tighten them down just to make sure that nothing comes loose. You don't want to have any issues. Make sure you take your little screws and you put them somewhere safe so you don't get knocked around or lost anywhere. And I never, I try to never start and not finish this project. I try to follow it all the way through. Kids, mailman, phones, there's always something. I'll take my little foot off. I do like to give the foot just a little bit of a dust in because it does get awfully dusty in there. And on my machine, this whole piece comes right off with just taking off the two screws. I checked it back because I find that sometimes there's this little fuzzy bits here that get a little bit, a little bit of dust on them. I mean, if the inside of your machine is going to get dusty, then the parts that sit on it probably will too. Remember I said I just cleaned this two weeks ago, so it's not going to be earth shattering. I'll take my bobbin out. My little bobbin carriage, or I don't think it's a carriage bobbin holder. It tends to get a little bit dusty inside here. I do clean this out regularly as I'm changing out my bobbins. Now in here, for me, there's always tons of dust and funk in here. It didn't look like very much. But you can already see just from inside where the bobbin sits, there's this big bit right here. 
I like to make a little pile of it off to the side just to see how much I actually get out. Now it doesn't look too bad in there. I know you're probably not being able to see too much. It's not like some people when I see videos or pictures on Facebook where it's just like coated. But as I said, I cleaned it recently. I could take this little brush and just move it around a little bit and it'll pick up things quite easily. Anything that may have fallen down in there. I don't use air on mine and I don't, I don't blow in it. Some people say it's okay, some people say it's not. So I just figure I don't need to, so I'm not gonna take a chance. I've looked for a few of those little vacuums that you can hook up. I was looking for one that you hook up to your vacuum to go ahead and clean it out. But I did buy something like that and it just doesn't work very well because I also have to clean like the coils in the back of my refrigerator. So the next time I will look for something that they have them that you can hook up to your computer for your keyboard and then use it there. See, this is just a little bit surface cleaning. I haven't even gone down deep into the machine at all. Just on top of all the little bits that I can see. just always amazing on how much you can find. I try to be very careful and not get stuck down in anywhere because I don't want to have any problems. And then that's when I go and switch over to the pipe cleaner. Now the pipe cleaner I can easily just kind of tuck down into spaces and it'll grab anything that's down there. They're used to, usually like a little bit of an empty space down in these sections. These machines do so much for us, we can at least keep them clean, right? Now you have to check with your manual or with your sewing machine guy to see what you need to oil, where you need to oil, if you need to oil, how often you need to oil. Every machine is going to be different. I mean, it's not much, right? But it's just a little bit. And every little bit counts because you never know which one is going to be the one that causes an issue and makes you have a really rotten day. Because when you're in the middle of sewing, you, you find your rhythm, you wanna just keep going. So I didn't even have to grab hemostats for that because the fuzzies, now if this part gets a little bit, maybe it got a little greasy or dirty or fuzzy, I just move it up a little bit and change to a new location. Pick these up at the Dollar Tree, there you get, I don't know what, 20 of them in a package or something. very inexpensive no sense using them for too long right oh see there's there's a big piece i found treat your machine nicely and it'll sew nicely for you So here's my bit of funk. It does tend to get, you know, you can it gets compressed and everything. You squish it into a little ball. It doesn't look like as much. But this is what I've gotten out just today from just kind of digging around a little bit. I do like to go, I can see in my feed dogs that there's some fuzzies in there. And if I can't get in with that brush, then I can come in with this one. It fits in there nicely. Allows me to just pop that out. So I'll be all set for our live stream. I don't know if this video is going to come out before or after, but if you miss it, we're doing the bowl cozies. It's a really quick gift. You still have time to get them made before Christmas, even if you have to make a bunch of them. Make sure when you're putting your machine back that you put it back the same way you took it apart. That you, it's not going to work if you don't do that, right? 
I have the little lever here so it lines up to make sure everything sits in there nicely. Still have my thread attached up top. Mine just sits in. Some people, you have to slide them in. Mine has a little arrow to tell me where it is in the front. I noticed that got a little bit of dust inside of there. Clean that out before I put it back in. my little screws back in this is always the complicated part for me because they just never quite sit right there's one put the other one in remember we don't want to tighten these down too tight just enough so that it stays just as soon as I start feeling some tension, that's as tight as I put it. Yours may be different for your machine. Because right now I'm like, okay, it's a little bit firm, so it's not gonna, I'm not gonna force it and torque it down. I don't know, I imagine you can buy new little screws like this and stuff, but I don't wanna have to go look for them and I don't wanna have to purchase them if I don't need to. Then I can always clean up and around this area. Dust always collects right up at the top. Let me give you a bird's eye view of where I'm at. So you can see, see all the little dust up and through there. Sorry, I'm holding my hand. I'm holding the phone with my hand. But see, I can grab all of this little dust while I'm cleaning. I do clean that periodically while I'm sewing because it's at the top of the machine and easy to see, but it does just collect. Cause you've got thread going through there, right? So everything is just going to collect a little bit of everywhere. I've noticed that since I got the new AC unit, my room, my house isn't as dusty as it used to be. But I tell you, this studio here is dustier than ever because just there's always threads and fibers and fabrics and batting and stuff. It just adds so much to it. I just put my foot back on. Mine just snaps in. I'll put my foot back on afterwards because I can't do it with one hand while looking down through this way. But that's it. I hope this is a great reminder for you to go ahead and get your sewing machine cleaned so that the next time we sew together, you'll be ready to go. So thanks for hanging out with me in my studio and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.